I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. Today we're doing our second video in the series on IMEs and DMEs. If you watched the first video, then you know that an IME is an independent medical exam. A DME is a defense medical exam. Essentially, they're the same thing. It's an appointment with a doctor chosen and paid for by the insurance company in a personal injury case or a workers' compensation case where that doctor examines you and gives an opinion to the insurance company as to nature and extent of your injuries, whether you need more medical treatment, whether you need to continue out of work restrictions and continue receiving lost wages. And so today we're going to answer the question, why is my insurance company sending me to an IME or DME? There's a lot of different reasons why people in personal injury cases and in workers' comp cases get sent to IMEs or DMEs. And let me give you a few examples of situations where this comes up so that you'll know why you may be getting sent to this type of medical exam. Let's say that we have an auto accident case and the driver in the auto accident case is injured, sprains or strains his neck, goes to the hospital, gets an x-ray. The neck is not fractured, but now he's going to go to physical therapy. He goes to physical therapy spends a month in physical therapy, his neck is healing, but it's not all better. And so he goes to his doctor and the doctor says, well, why don't you go for another month of physical therapy? Well, physical therapy is very expensive. The insurance company on the automobile is paying for the physical therapy and they want to know, do we have to keep paying for another month of this expensive physical therapy? And so they may send the man who was injured in the automobile accident to their doctor to find out the answer to this question. Their doctor may say, yeah, of course he needs another month of physical therapy. Or their doctor may say, he's all better and he doesn't need any further medical treatment. And if that's the case, then the insurance company will say, we're not paying for any further medical treatment. Another scenario where an insurance company may obtain an IME or a DME. Let's say that a person is uh, in a store and there's a dangerous condition. Someone has spilled water all over the floor. The person slips and falls in the water, falls and cracks their head on the floor, gives themselves a massive concussion. They bring a lawsuit against the store for letting that dangerous condition exist and they're pursuing a lawsuit claim for personal injuries, for medical expenses, for the cost of time out of work. In connection with that lawsuit, the store's insurance company, instead of paying the claim, defends it. And the insurance company refers that plaintiff to their doctor to do an IME, to evaluate the plaintiff, to evaluate this concussion case to give a report to say that perhaps the concussion is as bad as it seems, or to give a report saying, no, the person doesn't really have a concussion and there's really not injuries you know, stemming from the accident or stemming from the store's negligence. That would be a good way to defend that case if you are the store's insurance company. A third scenario where you would have a DME is Let's say that we have someone who's working on the job. They break their arm in an accident on the job. They go to the doctor. The doctor says you can't return to work. You need to have surgery on your arm. The doctor puts in a rod and screws to fix the fracture and the doctor sends them to physical therapy. The doctor says you can't return to work. Your left arm has got a fracture. It's got rod and screws in it and until it's fully healed, I don't want you returning to work because I don't want you messing up my surgery. Well, the insurance company, the workers' compensation insurance company for the employer is paying not only for the medical care and treatment, but also paying for that worker's lost wages. And they don't wanna keep paying for lost wages forever. And so perhaps they will send that individual to a doctor for a defense medical exam to find out if that person truly cannot return to work or 
perhaps the doctor will say that the person can return to work in a light duty capacity, limit the person's job duties to one hand work only, but get them back to work. And in that scenario, the insurance company can try to cut off that person's lost wage benefits if they don't return to work using one arm only. So these are some common scenarios that we see where people are referred by insurance companies in personal injury cases and workers' compensation cases to doctors of the insurance company's choosing on the payroll of the insurance company for purposes of an independent medical exam or a defense medical exam. I think that answers the question why the insurance company would refer you to a doctor. It's because they want to either get someone who's favorable to them and who will give them testimony to give an opinion as to the continued need for treatment, as to the nature and extent of the injuries, as to the continued need to continue paying lost wages. Those are the scenarios where we commonly see IMEs or DMEs taking place. Thanks for watching. We're gonna do more videos in this series on IMEs and DMEs in personal injury and workers' compensation cases. Keep watching. If you have questions about IMEs or DMEs or personal injury cases in general, send me an email. I'm ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com. That's my email address. You can send me an email at any time. If it's something pertaining to this topic, I'll be glad to do a follow-up video for you. Thanks for watching.